Hey, what's up assholes? Welcome back to another video. So before we begin, I'm going to be tacky and ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. We're getting really close to a thousand subscribers and I am planning a whole apartment tour slash apology video extravaganza at 1k. So tell your friends or uh, make a bunch of fake accounts and subscribe to me. I really don't care. Anyway, today we're watching more TikToks, which I, I know, I'm surprised too. I don't know how, but TikTok managed to escape total banishment from Trump's bitch ass. So uh, hey, today is a day of celebration. So lately my guilty pleasure on TikTok has been watching these wacky gay couples uh, because they're just fascinating to me. Like. Having a boyfriend? What a concept. I cannot relate. So the first couple I want to talk about is uh, extremely popular. They have like 6 million followers or something. Uh, and they go by Minnie and Tink. Which if you couldn't tell by their username, these are some serious Disney gays. And uh, oof, Disney gays. Just the bane of my existence. My favorite videos of theirs have got to be the pranks. Uh, because let me tell you, these pranks are epic. Uh, yeah, nothing is more hilarious than leading your husband to believe that you are having an affair. Got him. Oh man, I can't wait to see the pain in his eyes when he comes home and realizes that the man that he vowed to dedicate the rest of his life to has chosen to throw away their marriage for some cheap sex with a stranger. Oh, that's... That's what comedy is. What? Oh, ha ha. Who is I love that it took him uh, pulling the blow up doll off of the couch and punching it twice before he realized that it was not a real person. Okay, look, I'm not gonna play dumb. Uh, I know that this video is clearly staged. Spoiler alert, all of their pranks are staged, but uh, Indulge me, you know, because this will still be fun. And I mean, I'm glad that this video is staged because imagine doing this for real. Like, that's just cruel. That's some shit that straight couples do on YouTube. Like, come on, we're gays, we're above that. Here's another one of my favorite pranks of theirs. <sighs> I, uh, I love this because to me, it implies that one of them has a serious problem with farting, and then the other one just has never farted before, uh, which I would also consider a serious problem. I guess one of them just does all the farting for the both of them. That's how in love they are. So... <laughs> So what was the point of making the pizza <laughs> if you were just gonna go spray the fart stuff in his face anyway? Like I thought he would at least uh, spray the pizza with the fart spray so that when his husband went to take a bite he'd be like, oh, this pizza smells like farts. It just seems like a lot of time was wasted on making this pizza when it really didn't end up contributing anything to the video. Also, just a waste of a pizza, if you ask me. Um, although it was DiGiorno, so like, I would have spat that shit out too. Now if that prank was a little too crass for you, uh, don't worry. The rest of their videos are much more mature and sophisticated. Babe, I pooped my pants. <laughs> oh my god, is that s**t? <laughs> classic. Poop in the face? Never not funny. I think the one that uh, pooped his pants is the same one that is like farting way too much. Uh, so I'm begging you to take a break from TikTok and go see a doctor because you definitely have IBS. Or maybe this is just what gay marriage is like, you know, just constantly pooping and farting all over each other, you know? Maybe, uh, maybe the Supreme Court made a mistake in 2015. I think if I bit into a spinach wrap and there was a condom in it, I would simply spit it out. You know, why did he, why did he stretch it out and let it fling mustard all over his face? I mean, I know the reason. It's because this was staged, but like still. Boyfriend prank. I want a boyfriend. Babe, I got you a pair of clean clothes. I mean, whatever is about to happen in this video, I just know by the Fortnite underwear that it will be deserved. Up 
it's just so unfeasible as a prank. I just think that I'd be able to feel it if someone stuck a big metal hook through my underwear. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just built different. I know it's stupid for me to pick apart the details in these videos, which are, again, so clearly faked. And before you get in my comment section and calling me a hater and saying that I'm just jealous of them, uh, yeah. Oh, I am. Like, full disclosure, I am so fucking jealous of couples like this. Just to have a boyfriend and fuck around all day doing silly little activities and putting the absolute bare minimum of effort into making our pranks look real and still pulling in millions of views and get millions of followers and make a shit ton of money. Like, what? Of course I am jealous of that. I mean, clearly I've been going about this whole internet thing so wrong, so... Uh, I will be accepting applications for a TikTok boyfriend. So if you live in New York and you want to get filthy fucking rich with me, uh, leave me a comment letting me know some of your best epic prank ideas, preferably something to do with uh, pooping or farting, as those always seem to be a big hit. Okay, so there is another couple that I absolutely must share with you, uh, which is Matthew and Ryan UK. Now, if Minnie and Twink, uh, nope. <laughs> if Minnie and Tink invented the gay couple TikTok prank, then Matthew and Ryan definitely perfected it. Ah, my tea! Ah, my tea! Ah, my tea! Ah, 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 ah. Wow, just, just an award-worthy performance all around. I mean, the acting, impeccable. Meryl who? And the SFX work here, I mean, really just puts all my work to shame. You know, I've made fake teeth before, but two pieces of Mentos gum stuck in an apple? Wow, I, I should quit. So this video is just so poorly executed that it almost makes me want to believe it's satire. You know, like they know exactly what they're doing and they're just playing all of us for the fool. But I've also watched enough of their TikToks to know that that's probably not true. Okay, check out this next epic prank of theirs, uh, but trigger warning, there is some pretty gnarly gore in it, so. If you can catch this credit card with your forehead, you can spend as much money on it as okay. you want, okay? Three. Two, one, now! Ow! Oh shit, did you see how hard he hit his head? Oh. My favorite part of this video is how the blonde one, um, I should know which one is which by now, but uh, I don't, so oh well. But the blonde one hits his head against the wall before the other one even drops the credit card. Three, two, one, now! Ow! Actually, even if he really did drop the card, and even if the blonde guy actually caught it with his forehead, he still would have slammed his head against the wall. Right? Like, a thin piece of plastic wouldn't cushion the blow. Time to water you like a plant. <gasps> oh! 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 I've peed! I've peed the bed! Oh my god! So at this point, you may be noticing a trend, uh, which is that it's always the brunette one pranking the blonde one. Uh, and I've seen a lot of their videos, and it is never the other way around. God damn, could you imagine living with this fucking guy just constantly being harassed and gaslit? Like, this is straight up emotional abuse. Or at least it would be if these videos were, you know, actually real. And I know, it's like, come on, all of these pranks so far have been pretty innocuous. Sure, they're fake and cringy, but who cares, right? Well, hold on, because it's about to get dark. Yo, this is psychotic. This is straight up psycho behavior. Like, this isn't cute to me. You know, this is obsessive and toxic. The Venn diagram of people who think this shit is romantic and people who watch you on Netflix is a circle. Throwing my boyfriend a fake proposal party. <sighs> so he's gonna fake propose to his boyfriend, who for context, really, really wants to get married. That's comedy. I've literally got some of his favorite food, some of our favorite photos, and I've even popped myself on this hunk. And it's not even real. <laughs> what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> also, am I overreacting or is this literally evil? He bought all that shit and set it up for a fake proposal. Who does that? And you might be thinking, where's the ring? Don't worry, friends, I've got one. <laughs> 
Ugh, imagine being married to someone who laughs like that just for the rest of your life, every single day. <laughs> Baby, I cooked us some dinner. Just kidding. <laughs> Baby, I love you. I don't want to be with you forever. Just kidding. <laughs> Nightmares. That's my personal hell. Was there any point to ask you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Will my you god. marry me? Yes! But wait, where's my ring? I'll get you a proper one, I promise. Yes, Will you marry yes. me? Whoa, 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 wait a second. Did you catch that? He just said, I'll get you a proper ring, I promise. What? Now he's fully just lying through his teeth. Like, he doubled down and said that it wasn't a prank. Like, he... He looked his soulmate in the eyes and said, I promise you this is a real proposal and that I'm getting you a real ring soon. He's an actual sociopath. He, he's the Ellen of TikTok. Here comes the boy, here comes the boy. Babe, I don't know why you're getting so excited. It's what? a joke. <laughs> We're too young, I don't want to get married yet, babe. What's no, I can't. It's just a joke, babe. I don't want to get married yet. All of this, the joke. If someone did this to me, I would kill them and then myself. I would douse both of us in gasoline and then light our whole house on fire. And the worst part about this video is I'm not 100% convinced that it is staged. Sure, it may seem like it's just more bad acting, but I don't know. I kind of have a gut feeling that this is just the way they are. Babe, come here, I've got a surprise for you. I've got an engagement ring and it's got your name on it. If you want it, find it in 10 seconds. <laughs> 10, nine, eight. Holy fucking shit, dude. No way, no way. Oh, you want this engagement ring so badly? Well, go get it, go fetch, you filthy mutt. Who the fuck does that to the person they love? Like, even as a joke, like, why would you want to make that joke in the first place? Three, two, one. Oh, babe. Unfortunately. That was not 10 seconds. He started counting so fast at the end. Like, man, he really doesn't want to get married. It's weird how intensely possessive he is over his boyfriend, where he, like, won't even let him leave the house but marriage is too far. If you really want to lock him down that badly, then put your money where your mouth is and buy the damn ring. And I mean, if you marry him, then that's a legal contract binding the two of you together, which would make it a lot easier for you to control him. Uh, and not saying that he should do that, of course, uh, but you'd think he'd have figured it out by now. Babe, what? what do you want more in the world? A baby! Right, if you look after this egg and don't smash it or crack it, I'll let you have a baby. Think you promise? Think you promise. I know he didn't just say, I'll let you have a baby. That is some controlling, manipulative ass language if I've ever heard it. Babe, what are you doing? Make it have a personality. What, are you gonna call him? Augustus. Right, I'm trusting you, babe. Don't let anything uh -huh. happen to Augustus. Maybe this is a cheap shot, but I would never let a man with this stiff Michael Benjamin ass haircut speak to me like that. Sorry to Michael Benjamin, who I love. Shock, he's left Augustus unattended. You know what that means. <sighs> what a piece of shit, right? Oh my God. <sighs> Babe, what are you doing? Um, showing Augustus our food. Right, can I see Augustus's face then? Um, he's not very happy at the moment. Right, you've just proven why you can't have kids yet. Oh my god, that is gaslighting. That, that right there is textbook gaslighting. Trying to make him think that it was all his fault when you know damn well that you murdered Augustus, who, by the way, should have been named Egg Augustus. Obviously. God, stupid, stupid people. Making my boyfriend believe that I'm having an affair. <laughs> If these videos weren't so incredibly fake, uh, I would be so concerned for the blonde boy's well-being. But like, even so, like even knowing that they are just jokes, all jokes are rooted in a little bit of truth, right? You don't think it's a little sus that their idea of relatable content is just being emotionally manipulative and abusive? I don't know. Um, like literally, I don't know. I don't know anything about them or their relationship aside from what we've seen on a few a really fake cringy TikTok. So I don't know why I'm overanalyzing this so much. 
because uh, it's really not that deep, is it? I don't know why I'm trying to get all Dr. Phil on them. But still, I will say, uh, just for the benefit of whoever might need to hear this, no judgment, but uh, don't let your partner actually treat you like this. You know, you deserve better than that, right? I'm, I'm begging you, please have higher standards for yourself. Anyway, I actually was planning on including a third couple in this video, but uh, like, how do you follow that? You know what I mean? So maybe we'll save them for another time. Uh, maybe I'll make a part two at some point in the future. But before we end this video, let's check out one last epic prank. Quick, baby, quick, catch it, catch it. Quick, three, two, one, go! Hell yeah, one more poop joke for the road. See you next time, folks. Oh, and also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more gay shit. Remember, we've got our big uh, apology video extravaganza coming up at 1K, so you don't want to miss that. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really, really do appreciate it so much, and that's it. Yeah, it's all fun and games until one of them eats a blackberry.